Hey family, welcome back to another video with your girl Saint Seraphim. Over here where we do everything with truth and love and us on spirit, period. If you're new here, welcome to the sanctuary. If you're not, welcome back to Star Saints, Bro Star Saints Shadows. If you're interested in any of my products, services, courses, archives, lectures, my Patreon, or any of my other socials, click that link down below and it'll take you to where you're is where it is you're trying to go. And if you would like to donate to the channel, you can like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notifications. Um, and support the other content on the channel or you can totally hit that amazon which is linked down below or um utilize any of the other donation links and by the time you see this video these two lighters um will both be available on my website and there's only one of the limited edition um spooky season lighters left and these are also one of one so yeah these are available on the website and y'all i just want y'all to know that like today is one of them days where you're gonna have to do some heavy transmuting radical self-care heavy transmuting because somebody is sending chaos energy in like it's doing chaos magic i can guarantee that shit i can guarantee that shit if i told y'all everything that i've experienced in this day and it's only like 12 something yeah I just ordered me some DoorDash. Y'all know that's my best, that's my favorite thing. Oh, yeah, and if you want to donate, you can totally, like, send me a Dash Pass gift card. Like, that's that's probably the best donation anybody could ever give me. Like, a Dash Pass gift card, period. Um, And you can, you can hit me up on Instagram for my email. Um, yeah, but it's enter the land of abundance at gmail.com. If you don't know what that is, or if that didn't make sense to you, just hit me up on Instagram and, um, yeah, I'll give you my email. But somebody's definitely doing some chaos magic, so heavy transmutation, heavy transmutation. Uh, I can't even see where them cars went for real. I see it. Somebody's love spell is backfiring and they're being awakened to it. And because of it, now they're trying to send out chaos. Somebody's sending out chaos because what they intention, what they initially intended to send out is backfiring. <laughs> this is like the equivalent of like, okay, say somebody try to do a love spell on you. It don't work. But instead of it backfiring on them, it actually hit somebody else close to them. So while uh there this person is low-key obsessed with you they gotta be if they did a love spell on you um if you're not obsessed with them you're not in love with them because the spell didn't hit you but it backfired on somebody else which means the spell now somebody else that they know is in love with you and they don't like that shit <laughs> that's the equivalent of this energy they're surprised that you're rising they're surprised somebody's surprised that you're not letting whatever this energy is get to you like somebody first of all they're fucked up in the head about the fact that like what they initially tried didn't work how the fuck did that shit not work because you're a star and that's crazy because i had ordered a tarot necklace i don't know if y'all can see that it's the star though and i'll um I'll post on a community tab where I got this from. I got it off Etsy. Um, it's real gold. Uh, it's really cute though. And I want the, I want the, um, I want another one. I ain't gonna cap. I have tarot cards everywhere. For, for real, for real. Like on my, hold up. Did I put it up? Oh, on my keychain. I have the Wheel of Fortune. And y'all know, for those who've been over here for a while, y'all know I used to wear that as a necklace until it broke. And so I put the pendant on my keychain, so I always have it with me. But now, I always got the star with me. Period. Somebody is surprised that you're rising through their chaos. You're, you're ascending through the fucking chaos that they're trying to send out. I bet they feeling that goddamn chaos, though. I promise you they're feeling that chaos. If, if, if you're watching this message... Today is the day to say as many abundance affirmations, money affirmations, expansion affirmations. Find out where Jupiter is in your chart. Find out where Neptune is in your chart. Look and see what's in your 12th house. All of that shit is really going to help you transmute on a day like this. 
on a day like this. I'm about to make me a new nail set. But I ain't even gonna, I'm gonna make it. I ain't gonna put it on yet, though. Um, Because this is like, this is like, say for like, right, Halloween is coming up. This is like somebody not wanting you to be able to celebrate Halloween or be able to transform or, you know, enjoy that portal, enjoy that transition. So they do everything. So like everything fucked up for you. But it ends up instead of you wearing a costume, it end up trans trans. It ends up transforming your life in a way where it's like it changes forever. All you wanted was a Cinderella moment. One night, a little fun, 24 hours, no romancing. Just wanna dance and when I land, I'm here for 24 hours. Maybe that's all you wanted is 24 hours of a little bit of sunshine, a little bit of light, a little bit of pizzazz. You better get a lifetime of it. You better get a lifetime of it because somebody was trying to get in the way of your moment. Your 15 minutes started an hour ago. That's this person's fucking karma. <laughs> oh, and I said it. I said no matter what happens today, I'm not going to let it piss me off. I'm not. And I can't be mad because I just got DoorDash. And I just got some shit that I really want. Some shit that I ain't never had before. Oh, and it's on the way already, period. So by the time this video ends, my DoorDash should be here. I'm going to end it with my DoorDash here, actually. Obsession telling you somebody's obsessed they're obsessed with the fact that the spell work don't work they're obsessed with the fact that you're unbothered they're obsessed with the fact that you're still ascending you're still rising you're still shining somebody wants you to go dark so that you don't shine babe shine shine on them niggas put on all them jays shine on shine on shine on them niggas what it is, what it ain't. i ain't hear that song in that long i think it's called shine by audio push Oh, the kids are home. Oh, they have a half day today. Your day ain't gonna be as long, as bad, as... And all everything I've experienced today has happened in the morning. It's noon. It's noon. And when I tell you shit's been weird since like 3 o'clock this morning... Yeah. Mm -hmm. Even a dream I had last night, it was just like... Somebody was in the dream trying to sabotage me, lighting fucking fireworks in my room after I had moved into a new, like, house. Like, I got had invited to a group and, like, move into the house. And so they tried to, like, literally set off a firework in my room, but they it, it ended up getting stuck to their hand, and they was running around the house with the fucking firework. Dummy. People are doing sabotaging spells, chaos magic, just all types of stupid weird shit that don't even make sense. They want to do chaos, but can't transmute it. Oh my God, because tarot is chaos magic. But it's about transmute tarot. Some of us transmute chaos by, by doing tarot. Other people create chaos by doing tarot. It's like a battle right now. It's a battle. And you got to know that people who are um, dissipating the chaos are going to be targeted by people who are trying to create it. So, yeah. You ain't really got to worry about who this is. Because it don't matter. You don't have to deal with the problem. The universe is going to deal with it. You just do your job. So, if you're a reader, just do your job. Yeah, because whoever this is, they got an entity attachment. That's why, they over, that's why they're trying to, like, create so much chaos. They don't want all the... The chaos is in their head. And it's in their head because everything that they're obsessing over is working out. For other people. None of it is working out for them. Either that or they're either they do tarot or they're like going to a tarot reader, paying a, a somebody who does tarot. Put on all them J's and shine on, shine on, shine on them niggas. What are they with it? Star seed. Lots of star energy. Yeah. Don't pay attention to the false narratives. Don't pay attention to the stupid shit. It's a lot of stupid shit in the world. It's a lot of stupid shit. It's a lot of bullshit. It's a lot of people who have hidden entity attachments, and they do a great job at disguising that shit. But um, after this Scorpio season, yeah, it won't be a whole lot of that. Why do you think some of us as readers have... I know If you watch tarot, you've heard 
not just me but other readers be like i'm not doing this shit no more when i tell you this shit gets so annoying sometimes because the energy that be coming out but now it's like it's coming to a head and it's upset that it's being figured out The energy is being, whoever is in that energy is upset that not only is that energy being figured out, which means the chaos isn't working because uh, some of us can see very clear. Um, the people who are trying to promote that energy are also being figured out. They're also being figured out. And the rest of us be in a battle because it's like, do I keep doing my job or like, do I just get the fuck out of here completely? Just do your job. I promise you it's going to pay off in the end because it's something that you can do that. It's something that if you're a reader, you're doing something. If you're a reader that operates out of clarity and truth, you're doing something for the collective. A lot of people watch tarot that you don't know watch tarot. Like, tarot is a realm of its own on the internet. It's a game. And some people play to cheat. Some people make deals. It's an industry. Some people make deals to get the numbers so that they can get the money and the revenue. But then when shit go wrong for them, when they shit backfire on them, that's when they want to send out chaos magic. Because now their asses is broke and destitute and desolate and desperate. Because they abused divination. Divination is not something to... It's a game, but you don't play around in the, with spirits. Either you're going to help the energy flow or you're going to get moved the fuck out of the way. Same thing when people be under a bitch reading, spewing chaos. You're not going to stop us from experiencing happiness. Don't let nothing. I don't care if you're a reader yourself, whether you read for yourself, your family, on another platform, or, you know, whatever. Don't let nobody steal your joy. Don't let nobody steal your motherfucking joy. Not right now. Not right now. And I said this not too long ago, but I said during Scorpio season, you're going to see a, a real polar like split. Black and white. You're going to see a real polar split. Motherfuckers is going to be tweaking out third party. Or you're going to be advancing in love. Not just romantic love, but unconditional love, universal love, uh, doing something you love. Doing it with love. Doing it to show that love truly exists. Being a, a, an example of what that looks like. Some people can't stand it. Because they're just fucking miserable. Some people are really miserable. Like, you're going to see who's miserable and who ain't. Because even those of us who get annoyed with certain shit, we're not miserable. So it's like, yeah, we might get annoyed and frustrated. We're human. But we're not miserable at the end of the day. We're not. Oh, Lord.